In this tutorial, I'm going to show how you can make a complex custom airspace file using the FlyXC web application. For an example, I'm going to refer to task 2 of the British Winter Open 2022. We will set a, an interesting 103 km task to the turbo, but the course took us through the Cartago CTR prohibited airspace. The organisers had negotiated special permission to pass through the northwest corner of the CTR. What we needed was a, an airspace file that showed their negotiations. This video will show how we could create such a file. Hopefully it will be useful in future. Using the FlyXC app and the XC planning tool within there, we draw a route which follows the boundary that we're trying to create. In this instance, we're following the road, which is uh, approximately west of the Corker River. You can put as many or as few track points as you like in this stage. To be honest, I'm not entirely sure the resolution which the flight computers use or indeed the tools which display the airspace. Um, I've chosen to follow the, the road fairly rigorously just to show this example. In this example, I am closing this as an airspace block which could be used discreetly but in actual fact I didn't need to do this because I use the original shape of the CTR. When you've created the route you then download it in the format GEO then open up the file and this is what it would look like. In my previous video I showed how to edit the file manually but it is a little bit of a laborious process so now I'm showing you how to do it in Excel to automate the process which will save you some time particularly if you've got a lot of points or more than one file to deal with. You open the file using the text import wizard, specify as fixed width, select the relevant fields and then once it's been imported into Excel you cut and paste this formula into that first line and then drag it down across the remaining rows. Select and copy all the formula, because we're going to use that in a moment, to create the airspace file. Open up a new blank text file and then start creating the airspace definition. I'll include a link to the open air language definition in the video description. When we've created the header information, we paste in all the points that we had created through FlyXC and edited in Excel. In this example, we need to refer back to the original airspace file to copy the arc, the northwestern arc, to complete the shape that we're trying to create. You need to understand how the original shape was drawn and which bits of it you need to copy in. It can be a bit trial and error. Now we've got that first section looking good, we need to repeat the process for the second section so that they both fit together. This is how it looks in Xetra. To deactivate the northwestern corner, we press and hold within the area to be deactivated. Select Disabled for today, touch anywhere else, and then you can see that that piece of airspace is no longer displayed and reflects the permissions for the day. I hope you found this video informative or useful. If you have, please like and subscribe. Thank you.